What up my freaks, Ruinous Insight here with part 19 of my Total War Warhammer 2 modded Vlad von Karstein campaign. So as we saw last time, we have left off in a little bit of a stalemate sort of situation uh, around Sterling, as we suspected we would, wherein we are raiding the territory of currently Talabekland. They're raiding us right back, and so is uh, Wissenland as well. Uh, and we are just waiting to corrupt all the surrounding territories via our uh, Balefire Brazier. Of course, we have to build a higher level Balefire Braziers, and we're working on it. It's going to take time to corrupt everything because, of course, uh, they have a fairly large amount of untainted due to all their buildings and commandments all over the place. Also got to build up a further level of... Uh uh, Balefire Braziers in the moot. There's a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to upgrade, and we gotta get to it. For fortunately, we're gaining a decent amount of cash out of those raiding forces. Uh, in addition to that, we have finally resurrected the Red Duke, who is uh, getting ready to... Well, I guess for a while, he's not getting ready to invade Britonia again, but he will stay here in Mount Gunbat, where he will hold off the tide of uh, orcs. Uh, interestingly enough, we might even send him down here to sort of, probably not take, but at least a sack or raise dead rock gap. I suppose we could take it and then finally take the Desolation of Drakenmore as well. I'm imagining that there's a full stack of uh, garbage uh, uh, of garbage rebel units here. I can't believe this place has not been taken over by anyone this is entire this entire time. It's very strange. Uh, but anyway, for that to actually occur, we need to actually build up the Red Duke's army. We do have some stuff in his army, but unfortunately I don't think we can... Uh, uh, build it any further or delete it. We can't delete it because we've seen that Grimgore is coming and we can't build it further because we need the money for various things within the Empire itself. We've all also taken the Desolation of Nagash with the Vladdy Daddy. Uh, he's going to take some time here sitting around and maybe move out and raid the territories of the Misty Mountains and stuff. I doubt that the... Uh, I doubt he's going to, Nagash's Ark is going to get attacked from this direction. It'll most likely come from this direction. We could even possibly march down to Lamia just to sack it. It is worth a fair amount. We could also take it ourselves. The problem is then that uh, we would have to leave somebody at Lamia to protect it. And uh, that somebody... I don't know who that would be, because Manny is going to defend the Gashes are until it can defend itself. Uh, so yeah, I'll think about that. It's definitely a uh, it's definitely a consideration we'll be having to make. In the meantime, Vlad's army is kind of damaged. He's going to stay here for a couple of turns to heal up. Uh, also, I just wanted to check something. Uh, Mesmerizing Aura, Coven of Undeath. I just wanted to see if he has any particular buffs for anybody that isn't Blood Knights. Uh, melee attack for Vlad and Isabella, blah, 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 buffs for Blood Knights, blah, 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 that we know. Uh, in fact, it's, it's kind of funny that he's more Blood Knight focused than, uh, uh than the Red Duke seems to be. Because the Red Duke seems to be a little bit more focused on, I mean, he does have buffs for the Blood Knights, but on the Grave Guard and the Black Knights, uh, oddly enough, but hey, whatever. Okay, well, hmm, his, ironically, Grave Guard are not going to be as powerful as the Red Duke's, which might mean we might want to put the Sternsman in the Red Duke's army eventually, or even Manny's army, who I believe also buffs the Black Guard and, or, Black Knights and Grave Guard. Oh, uh, let's not confuse him with Blackguard and Nagron. Anyway, I believe that's it for this turn. There's not much to do, and we are saving money. Our heroes can't move because they, uh, well, it costs like a thousand gold now to uh, steal tech, and that's ridiculous. What we want to probably do is go through the genesis of the vampire counts all the way to vampiric superiority so we can get that action cause, and possibly even to the power of Nagash for that uh, Winds of Magic. Of course, that'll take forever because we can't afford stealing tech. <laughs> really need that cash. Uh, we also need to build up Flensburg, but uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. All right, let's end the turn. Hawkland has been encountered. Uh, that's probably irrelevant, at least for now, because uh, we're bordering really mostly Talibek land and stuff. Uh, success damage building... Oh, that's going to get annoying. If these heroes stay here and keep damaging our buildings, that's really going to get annoying. Uh, Karaza, Karaza... Okay, I can check the... Uh, and check how much they like us or not. Hostile hero activity, Lutz Barakmir. Oh, you're trying to uh, wound one of our tech thieves. Yeah, well, it'll probably happen eventually. At least they're not busy stealing tech right now. Man, Avisenland and all the other... Uh uh, all the other little empire territories really are raiding us, but hey, whatever, at least we're gaining money off of them. Sword of King claimed. We have a few more turns until we get the gold mine, I believe, as well. Uh, somebody's ready for duty. Oh, including Heinrich Kemmler. Yeah, we can't wait to get all of our lords up. Now, are you, you're raiding their territory, not ours, right, Gorst? Just want to double check here. What about here? I just 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was just like, wait a second, are we raiding our own stuff? Uh, all right, Flensburg, you're obviously going to be the... Uh, wait a second, I just want to check. Isabella, you have a Dwarf Spy, which reduces the construction cost, so maybe what we'll do is we'll briefly move you here to reduce the cost of this by 5%, which is like nothing, but whatever. Uh, do that, and do we want to build this Balefire Brazer? Nah, yeah, you know what? I do want to build the Balefire Brazer. Oh, I should have turned that off. That must have been incredibly loud. I am so sorry. <laughs> My bad, I always forget. Uh, alrighty, there we go. Freaking made me jump, too. Uh, Alright, I just want to double-check the quest. We still have to do the battle for the Blood Chalice of Bathory, but right now I think we're uh, safe where we are. It's not like it's going anywhere, after all. And recruit the following hero, Vampire. We still haven't increased our capacity for those, uh, because we don't have any rank 4 settlements, although we're getting there. We're getting there. Only, uh, what, five or f four more turns until we can do that? Hmm... And then we'll be able to finally build the Mausoleum of the Mad Count, as well as some very important stuff. The Mausoleum of the Mad Count will obviously be important, but there's other uh, there's other things that this will allow us to build, like the uh, higher level trees, uh, more money-making buildings, Blood Knight buildings, uh, yeah. Basically everything we want with regards to troops as well. Hmm. Interesting. All right, getting there. Getting there. The growth is obviously slow, but it's actually plus 170. It's not that bad. It's not nearly, not a tenth as bad as the growth for the dwarfs is. Uh, just coming off of the uh, Thorek campaign. That's, that's I'm going to have uh, dwarf PTSD basically forever now. Uh, anyway, Vlad, you stay where you are. What building got damaged? Oh, of course. 606. Oh, stop stealing our money. Freaking hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's really an, er, irritating. Uh, alrighty, we also have to keep an eye on Grimgore. Where is he? He's not come to Mount Gunbad yet. Hmm. We could go down here and try to raid Orky territories, but they could jump, like, across to us or attack us, and we wouldn't be able to get away from them, I think. And it might take so long to get here. You know what? Let's not risk it. Uh, just stay in Mount Gunbad, although it does have its walls now, so it should be quite a bit stronger. Hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a fairly decent garrison now. Three grave guard. We got a uh, unit of vargeists. Uh, the bats are slowly coming back after getting wrecked by uh, Wurzag last time. Yeah, this is this is a lot less concerning than than it was before. Eh? Hmm. Makes me think maybe we should now move the red duke out. It's just that Grimgore's army would still win against this, which is why I wanted to keep an eye on Grimgore. You know what, stay there for a few more turns, we'll think about it. Uh, otherwise, anybody else need to move? All the heroes are going to hold on to the money because we have a lot of stuff to be up, uh, to get upgrading, unfortunately. Uh, Dieter and Carmilla, you are where you are, although Carmilla, you can start... Uh, wait, local 2? Oh, it's because of this, I take it? Yeah, recruitment duration plus one. Uh, Karak Dromar, you now have walls, therefore you do not need to sit here, Carmilla. Oh, wait, has Barakvar been destroyed by Durthu? Oh, damn. If we could have gone here and taken it for ourselves, well, as well as Akendorf eventually, well, we'll try to make that a goal. A port would be so freaking helpful. And Barakvar is really the only option other than Altdorf. Although, to be honest, I'm pretty sure we'll get Altdorf before we get Barakvar. Uh, it really depends on if we get uh, into a war with uh, Avaland. Oh, and now we don't have the Imperial uh, buffs anymore. Hmm. Do we bring them back up? Fine Metalwork is still up for another seven turns. Yeah, because I'm thinking... Maybe we uh, maybe we want to get that up and running again. Wait, you go back to Schwarzhofen for now. Karak Dromar is safe, and you can get your uh, uh, zombie army up and running so you can start raiding even more territories. Yeah, you know what? Let's get one more Imperial uh, Imperial buff. I know I said I was going to let it lapse, and oh, we still have the construction cost for buildings. I completely forgot about that. Uh, all regions faction wide. You know what? That means we need to upgrade more buildings right now. So we should probably get the quest it's just for the extra money, if nothing else. Oh damn! Yeah. So uh, recruiting all the stuff on uh, in this army really, really hurt in terms of our upkeep and our uh, extra cash for upgrading stuff. Damn. Alrighty, fine, fine. That decides at night court. You are going to go one for the dwarfs. And what do we have to do for this? Razor sack two settlements, sure. And then Night Court again. Uh, where's the Empire right here? This one is also Razor sack two settlements. Okay, well, at least it'll be easy to achieve uh, at the same time. Alrighty, well, Vlad, that's probably your job. At least at this point. 
over here to the Misty Mountain or over here to Lamia. All right, we're we'll skip the rest of this, uh, generate some money. Vlad, do we want to move out immediately? We won't uh, suffer attrition here, but you know what? Maybe stay here for at least one more turn. How's the Vampire Corruption here? It is positive now, so that's nice. All right, and we will complete a uh, piece of research as well. Deathmaster Snitch, and nobody, no, not right now, not right now, oh, you've ended our military, act. oh, no, <laughs> I thought he wanted an alliance again, uh, that's not so great, uh, war declared parts of Sartosa and Carcassonne, that does not impact us in any way whatsoever, Grimgor, still fairly weak, I don't want to hurt Grimgor too much either, once again, I wish he'd stop attacking us. I don't want to peace out with him, though, because the, uh, well, that keeps the dwarves happy. Oh, damn, these guys could jump over to One Desolation. Uh, you, can you leave us alone, please? Just leave us alone. Alrighty, now, looking good right now. Uh, raiding in Flensburg, yes, we know about that. Distrib distribute Grave Gift, armor plus 10 for Skellies. Uh, that's great. And finally, Defile of Ancient Bears. We're gonna go through this and then immediately start moving through the genesis of the Vampire Counts after, well... Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll pass on Danois Rose for now. I mean, Isabelle's army's been doing fine, I think, without the buffs. Uh, I also wanna see Queek. Whoa, whoa, Queek. I saw the symbol of Clan Eshin and I was like, wait a second. Oh, Queek is part of uh, Clan Eshin's force, and I take it they're also fighting... Yeah, they're also fighting the orcs. Yeah, the orcs are kind of in trouble. Uh, yeah, there's too many stacks of dwarfs running around in there. Yeah, they did take Beric Var, damn. Not surprising, though. I would expect them to do so. Uh, anyway, Carmilla, you're going to build zombies, or rather recruit zombies, but not right now. Only 200 per, I will grant, but we have a lot of stuff that needs upgrading. Oh, in fact, wait. Can you go right here for yes. one second to reduce the cost of upgrading the moot? Uh, Needling, you're going to be in... Three turns. Okay, moot, we'll start with you. We'll build wall here, and then we'll, we'll build that uh, Balefire Brazier. Then you can go back into Schwarzhofen, please. That'll increase our cash back up to 7.8k. That's pretty darn nice. It's pretty darn nice. I mean, it's obviously nowhere comparable to some factions, but uh, fairly decent for growing our empire at this stage in the game. Flensburg, hopefully they don't attack you right before you get walls. I've definitely seen the AI pull that sort of thing before, so I wouldn't be crazily surprised. I'm almost tempted to say, what if we fight the battle for the uh, Blood Chalice of Bathory right now, just for the extra money? Let's see what else we need to build up. We only have one more turn of Araby. Oh, this is the last turn of Araby Sandstone. So we need to either fight this now or not fight it at all. All right, let's let's see what upgrades are available to us right now. Another Balefire Brazier upgrade in Castle Drakenhop, but that's kind of irrelevant right now. We do need to save money for the upgrade of the city itself, but that's coming in way too many turns, so it's irrelevant. Castle Templehof is upgradable immediately. Oh. That should be done right now. Karak Kadrin is also upgradable. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to feel like we need money. Grom Peak is upgradable. Fragmir can get something. I was gonna say probably a gibbet, but maybe we don't spend the money on that. Yeah, we really need to raise Rasak some damn territories, but we're not at war with uh, anybody we're near. Hmm. Alright, you know what that tells me? It tells me Vlad needs to move out. Hopefully these guys won't jump across the desolation. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but we're gonna take the risk. Uh, it can't defend itself against a full stack, I think. Yeah, probably not even this. But, if we get Manny in here, with the garbage walls, it might still be powerful enough to do this. We need to raise in sack for money. It's gonna be too late for this turn anyway. Oh, wow, what the hell? Ironbrow, you're still alive. I thought you died. Huh, weird. I swear I saw him die, but I guess I... It must have been another faction. Weird, it wasn't Carrick Hearn. I was confused Carrick uh, Hearn and, uh, and Ironbrow's expedition because of the green color scheme of their banners, even though it's not even the same color of green, but damn, still. All right, well, regardless, regardless, I think we have no choice. Isabella, this is going to hurt, but you're going to, uh, you're going to teleport and fight this. How much does the teleportation cost? 500, it's not too bad. All right, let's give this a quick, a quick, quick head taker read, uh, a quick read and fight this. We'll have to be very careful around those Minotaurs, but otherwise, with no reinforcements coming in, I think we are reasonably well poised to kill it with our heroes, if, none, if nothing else. Alrighty, so, 
The beastmen are arrayed in their usual fashion, a random collection of hooves and grunts that bear no discernible sense of order, dangerous yet chaotic, and there is something different about them this time. They hum with an unnatural radiance, shining with entirely disconcerting power. Yet despite this, Isabella will not allow them to best her. She will drive them back, destroy them, and from their broken bones and bloodied horns discover their secrets. Uh, their secrets is her own blood chalice? Okay, sure. <laughs> Let's get to it. Obviously, this is going to be a cinematic battle, and they are. there is stuff to worry about here. Casualties will be low, but yeah, it's mainly the Minotaurs. Uh, the other stuff doesn't really concern me whatsoever. Maybe the hero, uh, but the three vampires will be able to destroy him with uh, probably pretty great ease. Uh, as, long as, we can, as long as we can hold down the Minotaurs, we'll be fine. Let's get to it. There is such wonder in the raw, unbridled fury of these beast men. They teem and fester with might. I might find them beautiful if they weren't so terribly disgusting. Yet they have attracted the attention of the ignorant Empire. Clearly, they possess some power beyond that of their brutish ilk. Whatever this power is, I shall have it. And I shall use it to ascend the von Karsteins to ever greater magnificence! Alright, this one's gonna probably be looking like a pretty weird hut. Also, what the frickin' hell is that? Uh, <laughs> uh, no comment. Uh, anyway, this is gonna look like a weird cut because uh, it's a cinematic battle, but it's also a quest battle, and you don't have that uh, thing where there's like the little mini in-engine cutscene with, uh, uh, with the characters talking when you do a replay, so what I generally like to do is keep that and then cut it again. Uh, for those unfamiliar with how I do uh, quest battles generally speaking anyway anyway with regards to this battle uh, what we are going to do is we're going to obviously send in our vamps a because uh, well they can do stuff on their own but B because the rest of our army is just ludicrously slow they're going to get here eventually but it's gonna be like five minutes into the battle by the time they get there so uh, they're gonna take their sweet time also the rest of the bats and all that stuff will support but they can't really do it until the rest of the army is engaged now contrary to what we usually do which was attack either a Lord or enemy ranged units, we're actually going to charge the enemy Minotaurs. As I said at the start of the battle, the Minotaurs are absolutely the biggest threat on the field, and if the vampires can take care of them, that'll uh, solve a lot of our problems, really. So, uh, here we go. Also, I like that our three vampires uh, have uh, various... Uh uh, various different types of equipment and all that sort of stuff. I mean, well, it's fairly similar. I guess Isabella herself uh, looks more different than the rest do, but at, at the very least, different hairstyles. I wish that uh, uh, different models uh, had a more variety, like the zombies, for example. Yeah, I know, once again, I've talked about this before, there was a... Uh, uh, there, uh, there are mods that uh, change the zombies up, giving them more difference, but uh, yeah, I don't remember if they still work or not. Yeah, I remember there was a lot of... Uh, uh, unit appearance mods that used to be really good that I used to use like years ago like uh, I think dry rains mod and stuff like that And uh, there were a couple of others, but I no longer know whether they still work anyway uh, The vampires are gonna get to work on these minotaurs while we cast a uh, Purple Sun of Zareus, which has quickly grown to be one of my favorite spells uh, In this particular campaign. It's been very effective at uh, destroying hordes of enemies like this And so is the Pit of Shades granted and the uh, Purple Sun does move so I don't know which one is actually better, but this one is clearly uh, very effective. I mean, at times the Purple Sun casts have won, and at times the Pit of Shades casts have won. It really depends on how the enemy uh, units are lined up, and I guess what kind of units you target. And then other times the Winds of Death have won. So uh, either way, we got three amazing spells with these three vampires. And honestly, I was originally going to have uh, uh, to move one of our vampires out of this army, because she's a Lamian vampire and probably doesn't then need to be in a fighty army, but I've, go I've grown kind of a Attached since she's been around with this army for so long, so uh, hard to say. Hard to say. 
Anyway, uh, we are also going to move in our Devils of Schwarzhofen. Now that the enemy is engaged with our zombie summons and have lost a lot of their units, we are going to get the Devils to help out at killing those Minotaurs, who are now at about half HP, and the Minotaurs should, uh, well with their meat shields gone soon, hopefully, should fall a little bit quicker with the help of the devils. Plus, we're also master beguilementing them, and uh, that will prevent them from doing damage to our vampires, which was obviously a concern. Now, this has uh, definitely pushed the battle into our favor. We're also going to pop that pit of shades down onto the enemy, and they have lost a good uh, 500 units so far, and that's about to increase as we pop that other pit of shades on their gores and bestigores. Lovely. Gotta love the effect of those spells, and in fact, the I guess there's too much particle effects going on because the lag is here. Oh, I accidentally ran some bats through the uh, through the vortex. Probably should not have done that. Whoops! They will have taken they will have taken some damage. Looks like hmm. not that much though. I guess they just got clipped by it. I assume that's what did damage to them. Uh, yeah. Well, regardless. The damage was there. Wait, this looks like a flock of doom on them, actually. Never mind, maybe it was the flock of doom uh, damaging them, but there's no... Uh, I guess it just ended. Okay, maybe it wasn't the vortex, because this is a ground vortex. Huh, now that I think about it, next time we put it up, I'm going to try to fly the bats through it to see if they take damage, because they technically shouldn't, because it's a ground vortex, right? Uh, not an aerial target thing. I think it was a Flock of Doom. Also kind of ironic that a Flock of Doom uh, be used on Hellbats, or Fellbats, rather. Anyway, the Minotaurs are still quite alive with uh, both of their units in here, while the rest of the uh, infantry have uh, taken the massive, massive losses from all those spells. The Bats are going to wait around for any units that, unlike these guys, are not shattered, but are just wavering or otherwise are uh, uh, broken. Then the Bats will go after those. In the meantime, the rest of our army still very, very, very slowly trying to actually get to the enemies. We're also going to send the Dire Pack and our other Dire Doggers around to try to catch out the Centigors over here and uh, kill them. That'd be fun. Might be fun to do a... Uh to do a campaign at some point with a... I think there were... there's a mod with a Centigor Lord, isn't there? But then again, there's probably not enough different types of centigors to make that uh, worthwhile, and I guess you could do that as a uh, as a part of another Beastman campaign. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so they've charged into the sides of our graveyard, uh, graveyard, a uh, grave guard here, and I also want to point out that our grave guard are now at uh, max. Uh, uh, max unit numbers, so they're a full 120 as opposed to the 60 summoned by Kevin right now, because uh, the other guy has uh, Gorst has leveled up. Uh, otherwise, our bats, as you can see, are chasing off any enemy units that break out of the pack here after the vampires are through them. We've also left the devils together with all of our summoned zombies here uh, to uh, fight off the enemy chaff infantry while our vampires go after these minotaurs. So I think we're doing a pretty good job at taking these guys out as they are the major threat, and the vampires are probably our best option at killing them. Other Otherwise, the rest of the army is almost there, but interestingly enough, the enemy is charging towards the main portion of our army with the Beast Lord and with the Doom Bull, or Gore Bull, rather. That's a Gore Bull, not a Doom Bull. It's a type of bull, okay? Uh, <laughs> and damn, look how big this guy is uh, compared to the size of our uh, White Kings. Absolutely monstrous. You know what else is absolutely monstrous? <laughs> Alrighty, uh, what else do we have here? Uh, Centigors are getting ripped apart by the Dire Pack and the uh, Dire Wolves here. They're gonna probably take a little bit of damage, but they're doing real swell here, even with the Dire Wolves uh, getting hit a little bit and not just the Dire Pack, but damn, quite effective. I always feel bad for Centigors just because of how badly they were treated in, uh, in vanilla and just being absolute trash together with... Uh, together with Boar Boys, but I will admit that SFO has done a, a pretty good job with uh, Boar Boys, and fairly decently with Centigors as well. I do remember uh, getting a fairly decent use out of them in the uh, Kazrak campaign, as I recall. Anyway, Gorbul, you're at about half HP, but you have kind of beat up Kevin Von Leutstein. He is fairly low level himself, uh, but at half HP, it's quite dangerous. Gotta be careful there. Fortunately for us, you've decided to charge through to some zombies who are going to act as meat shields while the White Kings uh, just uh, rip you apart. You really 
really shouldn't turn your back on white kings on top of that we got some anti-large a uh, grave guard with halberds moving in to help out with this further and i think this doom bull is not long for this world otherwise there is a uh, best gore herd out here but i'm but we will be able to get our doggos to uh, uh help with killing it as soon as they're done with those centigors and otherwise there is a beast lord here who has trapped himself for some reason in a unit of uh, zombies and uh, skeleton spears so well more power to him i guess otherwise our bats are also flying around continuously but have now dropped in on the centigors and we can see just how much damage they've taken here the charge of the centigors certainly uh did a number on them what's their charge bonus yeah it's pretty good it's at 70 no freaking wonder they were able to rip apart uh some of those bats and they do have great weapons as well so pretty happy with the uh with their performance at least they're able to kill bats if nothing else even if they stand no chance against the Dire Pack and other uh, Dire Doggos. But yeah, a few of our uh, bat units did come close to routing from this. You can see uh, the damage is pretty real there. These ones are at half HP. These ones are below half HP and they're uh, almost getting ready to route. I obviously got them out so that the more healthy bats could take out those centigors. And then we're obviously going to move them around and hit those centigors in the back. Let's check back on the uh, main portion of the battle here. The vampires still fighting in the midst of all this. The enemy's got some Wissens wild form going as well. So the particle effects are all over the place. But the devils and the, uh, the devils and the vampires really don't, uh, they don't fear anything that's happening here. There we go. Oh, and it looks like the Minotaurs have come back, unfortunately. I was trying to get the uh, bats to chase after them and uh, take them off the field and thereby essentially defeat the army, but it wasn't happening. We also got a charge in with our feasters in the dusk uh, to help out our vampires here, as one of them has taken a little bit of a beating, but obviously we can heal her up with a uh, invocation of Nehek. And the feasters in the dusk did get damaged themselves, so we then ran them away and uh, hid them essentially uh, behind the Skeleton Spearmen, or at least we tried before they got caught caught by these uh, uh, Bestigors, or kind of, they were sort of engaged anyway. Uh, at the very least, the enemy Bray Shaman did get caught and killed, essentially, or at least uh, driven off the field, shattered uh, by the... Uh uh, by the feasters in the dusk. Also, I want to point out that I guess it was indeed a, a flock of doom that was hurting our bats earlier because this is a Bray Shaman of Wilds and... Uh, no, it's a Bray Shaman of Beasts. Never, you know what I mean. Close enough. Those are different things, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I saw the animation from the Flock of Doom, but I just completely forgot that they even had a, uh, a Bray Shaman. What I should have done is actually had one of the vampires go near him with the uh, Trickster Shards that we have now and the uh, Miscast Shards. So yeah, that would have helped out. But I didn't notice him. Oh, good. There we go. Oh, wow. Somebody went flying there. Uh, best of gore. Or was that a bat? I can't, I can't even tell anymore. Anyway, this battle is just about over. I think the chain route is here. The enemy lords really didn't achieve much. We can see the beast lord got trapped here once again by those zombies, but he did it to himself uh, for some bizarre reason, and then actually got kind of beat up by uh, Reynold Gorst, who came back in here to uh, hit him while all those zombies were standing around, and hit the zombies as well, but you know, nobody cares. Other than that, I believe uh, Kevin was actually chasing that uh, gore bull off the field, and the battle, just like that, is over. Oh, and look at that. The best of gore herd has also been killed over here uh, with the direwolves taking a little bit more damage, but honestly providing a lot of value. Damn. <laughs> those, uh, those best of gores exploding as they get ripped apart by the uh, doggos. Very nice, doggo doggos. Every one of you is best boy. And there we go. We're going to speed up through this. We don't actually need to chase any of the enemy units off, obviously. I think the only reason I'm uh, not ended the battle right now is, as you can see, we're getting a bunch of units together. We're going to cast an overcast in or upgraded invocation of the heck on all these units because they're hurt. And the reason I'm doing this right now, I don't usually, uh, just because it feels a little bit cheap, even though, on the other hand, it feels like you probably should be able to because they're vampires, right? I mean, if they get to stand around the field and they have mana, they're probably going to restore their units. Uh, but anyway, uh, typically I don't do this the reason I did right here is because we're in enemy territory and we are relying on our raiding a lot uh, to get that extra cash and for our army not to cost as much. So we might as well heal these units up and keep them raiding uh, so that uh, we don't have to... Uh, send them back to Wurtbad or Needling or whatever is uh, close at hand. Anyway, that's it for this first portion of the battle for the Chalice here in this uh, neat, little, uh, neat little wooded area. 
And I, I also want to just take a quick look. Ah, we can't zoom out. Okay, well, screw it. I was going to take a look around at the map, which we did earlier a little bit, but, um, you know, whatever. End replay. Let's see how we did in terms of damage. I imagine the vampires uh, came out pretty ahead, but hopefully the doggos did fairly well as well. Alrighty, not too bad at all. Our bats did get themselves into some dangerous situations, and Kevin got kind of beat up in a uh, uh, in a duel there. Well, I guess it wasn't a duel because uh, Gorse was helping him out at the same time, but nonetheless, I uh, did get kind of beat up. And same with our feasters in the dust, but otherwise, our vampires uh, handled it pretty beautifully. Thir Three, 37,000 and 53,000 damage on the two that actually got their vortices off. It did not, uh, the battle did not last long enough, unfortunately, for Isabella to get a use of Wind of Death, and that's just fine. We're obviously going to take the cash here. Ooh, do we take the cash, which is not that, now we need the cash right now. As I was to say, heal up and keep raiding, but I think we're going to keep raiding anyway, despite the fact that we're hurt. So return those captives. And there we go, complete, get some more cash out of that. Not as much as I'd like, to be perfectly honest, considering all the stuff that we want to build. Uh, Blood Chalice of Bathory, oh, that was only part of the Blood Chalice. Okay, we just have to recruit a Necromancer. I think we can manage that one. We've recruited many of them. They're all failures, but... <laughs> Especially because they take so long to... Uh... Uh, to actually steal anything, and they take, and it costs so damn much. Uh, but anyway, uh, Isabella, you've got creatures of the night, almost to magical animus, and more importantly, our upgrades for our uh, uh, super bats. There, the the other vamps have also leveled up themselves. We got wild eyed, and therefore, I guess we got to go to tenacity, get the stuff that's guaranteed first, and then we'll probably get one of these. Uh, Melissa is confident, so she does buff up the army. And, and plus two leadership is fairly decent for bats and direwolves, so yeah, most likely we'll get one of the uh, fighty things, which will probably be the uh, blood dragons, which is, as I've said before, uh, the superior option, as the blood of the ancients, other than the melee attack, doesn't really add much, and the fact is vampires have more melee attack than defense anyway, uh, therefore we get more mileage out of that, plus we don't really get anything out of the speed, since they're already so ludicrously fast. Uh, the vigor reduction is nice though, I gotta say. Uh, too bad vampires don't have perfect vigor, even though I feel like they probably should, and I feel like I mentioned that before, uh, just out of what they are. But hey, whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, anyway. I guess if they're starved for blood, then their vigor isn't perfect, but if they are sated, then it pretty much should be. I mean, they shouldn't get tired fighting and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, let's keep moving through Wild-Eyed for you. You are immortal. Uh, that's what you wanted after becoming a vampire in the first place. Uh, let's see, Barrow Guardian, no Legion of the Damned for another, wow, eight turns. Yeah, it's going to take a while to level up, Kevin. Uh, let's go through Blade Shield, then make you a little bit less killable, as you did take damage there, after all. Uh, otherwise, we are going to do what? We do have to build, I'm just thinking. Is there anything we can do to achieve more money? Hey, Vlad leveled up as well. Uh, Vladdy. We did get the Unloving Host, and we do have to go through uh, Waking Dead. Not that this really gives us any buff right now. Hmm. In the current time, we could just keep making Vlad. You know what? Since this is not really worth it right now, even though Magical Animus would really be helpful for his army, I think we just go for Quick Blood, uh, give him Bloodlust at the very least, and then hopefully Red Fury afterwards. I've been holding off on Storm of the Night for pretty much every one of our characters, but let's face it, we haven't been uh, we haven't been fighting any aerial units, so I don't really see the need to actually bother with that. Otherwise, nobody else can make any money for now. Hey, Red Duke leveled up as well. Good job, Red Duke. Uh, you have all of your unique lines, so I guess we go through Quick Blood, or do we start buffing up your Grave Guard? You know what? Let's do this. Let's go for Unliving Host for now, uh, and then we'll go for Blood, Drag uh, Blood Dragon Warriors and Blood Knights afterwards, because he's going to need this anyway, especially if he's going to make use of them. And I also want to check uh, Waking Dead also levels up Black Knights, so I guess he could have a mix of Black Knights and Blood Dragons, at least in the early game, as Blood Knights cost ridiculous... Uh, Ridiculous amounts of money. Anyway, speaking of money, we gotta spend it. Now, what do we prioritize? Gotta be Castle Templehof, so I think we move you in right here. That'll reduce the money further, or reduce the cost further, just a little bit, but still. Uh, let's see, there we go, upgrade that. And then you can move back to Castle Drakenhof. Wait, are you unable to reach it? 
Ah, just barely unable to reach it. Whoops. Oh, well. Not much we can do about that one. Uh, then, after that key thing has been done, what else do we go for? Oh, damn it. Alright, that was Western Sylvania. There's nothing to upgrade here. I do definitely want to upgrade the Artisan Blood Taxes, but we need the growth as it currently is. Uh, otherwise, imagine how slow all this is going to be. We're waiting for that Mausoleum, the Mad Count. Uh, Peak Pass, Karak Kadrin. Definitely want this upgrade, but is there another upgrade that would be more worthwhile right now? Grom Peak, I did want to get you leveled up as well. And same with Nashrak's Lair. Hmm... But none of that is probably as critical right now, so let's go for Zuffbar, I guess. Or we could get the, uh, we could get a couple of gibbets instead. For more cash. More cash is always a good option. And is usually the best option. Oh, we'll be able to upgrade Zuffbar next turn as well. Huh. Oh, wait, we're redu- are we reducing construction costs here? Why does Zuffbar's upgrade be so cheap? 2.5k. Weird. Rakadrin's 3.2k. Alright, fine. Well, we're gonna upgrade Karakadrin. I think we still have enough money to get a, uh, uh Gibbet somewhere here in Kragman. Let's go, Gibbet. There we go. Good enough. Obviously, after all these provinces grow more, we're just gonna get RSM blood taxes. Everyone increase our money making by quite a lot. I just don't want to hamper our growth in the early game, as that, I think, is not worthwhile. Alrighty, let's get calming for you, Mr. Necromancer, and go to Potent after that. Uh, still need to recruit one, but I think we'll wait a while. Unassigned skill points, heroes not moved, not much we can do about any of that. Everybody keep raiding, we need to keep making money. I really wish we had Airby Sandstone for at least a couple more, uh, a couple more turns, but oh well. Might have to at least at some point send a vampire out to sea to gather islands for us. Are you gonna declare war on us now? What? You just dec okay? No, no, no. You, yeah, clearly not very trustworthy, Snatch. Oh wow, he's uh, he's moving through Orky territories. Oh, and he killed that uh, uh, that army that I was thinking would attack at Desolation. Hey, not bad, Snatch. Not bad. Well done, buddy. And I was mad at you. I was mad at you for nothing. I will always love you, Snitch. Uh, let's see. What else do we have going on here? Uh, looks like nothing all that uh, important. Don't see any army coming out of Lamia as of yet. Really need to raise and sack some territories, though. Uh, Schwarzhofen, here we're... Whoa, 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 suddenly. Uh, the Grave Herodons come. Uh, Schwarzhofen, as our power grows, it gains the attention of other foreboding creatures. The Wailing Hags emerge from their swamps and fetid haunts to join us in the destruction of the living. A Tomb Banshee has come. Why, thank you. Alrighty, Tomb Banshee. Or just Banshee. What do you... What do you buff, other than I take it, uh... How, do you buff spirit hosts? You gotta get some spirit hosts. Do you buff cairn rates? Do you buff anybody? Tomb scream, speed reduction, bending reed, reload time reduction, piercing lament. Oh, you don't, uh, oh, here we go. Ghostly camaraderie, yeah, that's what we got. Melee attack, it's not a huge buff, to be perfectly honest, but I guess if we get, like, four banshees in uh, Heinrich Kemmler's army, then that'll, uh, that'll help out. Now, what do you have here? You're aggressive. Not horrible, I guess. Melee defense is fairly valuable, though. Especially since you're an ethereal unit. Hmm. Yeah, because if you're getting hit by enemy with magic attacks, that'll be really unfortunate. But hey, you are a fighter. Uh, let's see, you have... Oh, you have stimulate growth, eh? Well, we can keep you around for now. I really wish that you weren't costing us money here, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, let's send you to Castle Drakenhof for now. Let's move you here to Castle Drakenhof as well, increase the money making. Carmilla. Time to keep uh, recruiting zombies. So that you can start raiding enemy territories with your little army. Uh, there we go. Uh, same thing goes for you guys. Uh, this is a cute little standoff. They're raiding, we're raiding, but everybody's right beside each other. Needling can't upgrade you yet, but I believe... No, two more turns, two more turns. We're, we'll wait for it. Uh, same with you, Isabella. I think we're making we're making good time upgrading all this. Hey, we have this upgraded now, so we got more vampire corruption going into the surrounding territories. Lovely. 24 corruption here. How's the corruption over at Altdorf? Pretty weak so far. Yeah, we need more. We need many, many more buildings. Uh, what do we have at the moot? A few more turns of that already. Uh, Vlad, you need to move, especially since there are no orcs that are going to bother you. Now, the question is, do we move out here to the Misty Mountain, sack and raise the place, or do we move out to Lamia? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did Lamia just upgrade itself to level 4? Hello. Hello. If it's at level 4, things change a little bit. Because... Hmm. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. 
Okay, let me just let me just think about this for a second. Uh, Shady Township, Desolation of the Gash. Let's upgrade you. Uh, if we can upgrade both of these with walls, plus Lamia, Lamia could be a pretty good staging ground for uh, uh, for Manfred to sort of start moving towards the Black Pyramid of Nagash. Even though from a lore perspective, it sounds like an idiotic thing to do. I.e., uh, let Manny within any uh, within a mile of uh, of the Black Pyramid, but. I mean, who else is going to go down there, right? Uh, Misty Mountain. I guess we'll get here. It's going to take, like, three turns, I think, to get here, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking... Oh, and Kalita's here as well. Yeah, if you're at level four now, we can take you at level three. This is what I was about to say, which will give you walls immediately, and thus uh, you'll be a lot stronger at being able to defend yourself, which I do like very much. And Desolation of Nagash in 4 plus 3, so 7 turns, you'll be able to defend itself. Nagashes are not so much, but... Hmm. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Keep doing your thing, Nagashes are. And I guess we could, in theory, untax you now. We do still need the cash, but uh, I don't want you to go into uh, negative and uh, increase the upkeep of all of our lords. Also, I do want to check out what else we've got going on. Everything's positive minus Sterland, but that's not all that surprising, considering all the raiding that's been going on. Uh, yeah, and we're not going to untax you, because you generate a fairly decent amount of cash, despite the fact that you don't actually have any money uh, making buildings in here. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Where's the money coming from? Is it just our main buildings? Yeah, I think it's just the, uh, the shady township. Because those things generate fairly good cash. Alrighty, well, that's it. I believe there's nothing else we can do this turn. We can't even steal tech, and we're down to 197 now. Unfortunate as that is. Oh, we have to move these guys out anyway, because all the orc territories here are gone. Damn, the dwarves have been spreading out. Uh, how do they feel about us right now? Oh, wow, that's not so great. <laughs> that's really not so great, and we are no longer... Uh... Mm, okay, you know what? All of you move to Black Crag. We're no longer increasing our relationship with the dwarfs by uh, annoying the orcs with uh, constant hero actions. So all three of you necros, uh, get down yes. there. It'll cost us a pretty penny, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Alright, let's go into wound for you. Also, I want to check on the red duke. Not seeing any orcs out here, interestingly. I'm tempted to say we recruit- oh, freaking hell, the recruitment is at two turns here. I was about to say, we get him an all, uh, all zombie force here. Too bad that the, uh... Raise dead cost too much, and just start raiding these territories as well. More and more raiding all over the place while we uh, consolidate and build up our empire. Alright, Lord not moved, Hero not moved, ignore all of those. You guys just move around null and get ready for that. What kind of battle marker is this? 4.8k, not bad. Not bad at all. Look how close we are. We're within striking distance of Altor at the same time. We're going to wait, however, as I've said, uh, as per your guys' comments, until it reaches level 5 so we can capture it at a high level. That, I think, is the best option. Honestly, it'll probably be level 5 by the time Vlad makes the trek all the way back. And wow, look at the dwarfs in their expansion. Interesting that they haven't expanded down here at all. They will eventually, though. And then they're going to start fighting Snitch, I take it. Uh, I don't even know whether they're fighting Snitch right now. They should be, but they're not. Oh! Maybe if we attack Kalita enough, they'll, uh, they'll like us a little bit more. They really didn't like all of our actions against Sterling, but they don't care about what we're doing to uh, Talabek lands, so that's interesting. Whatever. End turn. End turn. Hopefully they don't leave us. I mean, they will eventually, but... All good for now, I think. Alright, Golden Order still likes us. We need to really get some trade agreements or something going. Grimgor Ironhide changed to raiding camp and all of that. Oh yeah, yeah. You t you take some. You kill some uh, some orcs if you can. Or wait, you kill some orcs. Well, I mean, you'll probably kill a few of your own orcs. To be fair, your Grimgor uh, military access. No, Khalid, stop it. Why have you achieved nothing? I still don't understand that faction. Why it's been doing nothing all uh, all game essentially. Uh, let's see, raiding in Sterland. What do we got here? Oh, you know what we got? We got time, and it's running out. Oh, damn it. Thorak is here. Well, that changes the matter. Uh, we're going to go into Raiding Stance, and we are going to proceed down to Lamia. I shall go. You shall go indeed. Alright, wait. Did Kalita move out of Lamia? I'd love to, uh, have to get the defeat trait. Hopefully she didn't go out to sea just to go around and then attack and, then, and attack Nakashazar from that direction. I wouldn't be surprised, uh, but I would be annoyed. Uh, Isabella and co, just keep raiding. I mean, we should probably heal you up because the AI might try to capitalize on the fact that your army is weak, but for now, I think, hold the ground. Uh, everybody else, well, 
we should probably get some uh, techs stolen. But I want to see if there's anything that we really need to upgrade here. A few more turns, three, three turns until we can upgrade Castle Drakenthoth. So close, so damn close. And Templehof is coming up as well. I'm so tempted to get those artisan blood taxes. Oh well. Uh, let's see here. We can upgrade the gibbet to the next level, I guess. This place is already generating a fairly decent amount of cash. Plus, this will increase the public order, which will help out. I'm actually shocked that you guys are still alive. Freaky. Freaky. Let's just double check that there isn't anything. Oh, right. Zufbar. I wanted to upgrade that. Uh, can you move right here so you can reduce the cost of upgrading Zufbar, please? Thank you. Right there, please, and then right back in the castle, Drake and Hop, to get our money making back up. And our money flows is a oh, frickin' hell. Not enough to upgrade that Grave Guard Watch Hour. Damn, that's expensive. That's real expensive. Oh well, not much we can do about that. We'll have to upgrade Needling next turn anyway, so we don't really have anything else to spend the money on. Heroes not moved, and I think we need to save the money, because those walls take priority. Uh, as soon as the walls are up, we won't have to worry about the place so much and have to uh, keep uh, Isabella and Co. standing right there. I also, once again, do want to get that new Necromancer in, but uh, whatever. Oh, we can't steal tech anyway, because we're not close enough to Black Rag. Although we will be close enough to Iron Rock as soon as Grimgore takes it. If he stops building the worst armies I've ever seen, what the hell is this? At least he has some biggins this time, but look, the dwarfs are using gunners, and uh, those are grudge rakers, and uh, organ guns, and lots of good stuff. Whereas you, you're still using basic gobos. Let your wa army do that. Look at this. You got great cannons, long beards all over the place. I don't know what you're doing, Grimgore. See? Look, look Look at Argor over here. You see how Argor is building Black Orcs? You should be getting Black Orcs, Grimgore. I mean, damn. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I guess we end the turn because we do have to save the money, and then we head down to Lamia suddenly. It's very sudden. Hopefully what doesn't happen is these guys jump over to the Desolation of Nagash, in which case we will have to uh, get Manny up and running. If it doesn't happen, however, we'll take Lamia. We'll get Manny in there, and then we will... Uh, I guess we'll proceed with Vlad up uh, up somewhere. Wait, did you guys start into mining camp stance instead of what you've been doing thus far? That's kind of annoying. Oh. Well, that's interesting. I wonder why they did that. Is it just to get away? Are they even at war with these guys? I don't think Vlad can reach them in a single go. I would take them out just for the free cash. Uh, there we go. Defiler, Venge, and Barrows. That helps with our money-making situation. But more importantly... Hey, another student. Uh, that's great. Who doesn't have a student? Students for everybody. Here you go. We really needed that, to be honest. Still at 197, but at least we'll be over 200. Uh, there we go. Now, I do want the reduction of upkeep for Graveguard, but it's not worth spending 9 turns getting that. Vampiric Superior, 21 turns. We really need to steal tech. Really, really do. We don't really use enough Felbats and Direwolves. Wait, yeah, 10% upkeep is probably not worthwhile right now. Let's go for Genesis. The problem with Genesis is that everything up to this is trash. Like, who gives a damn about most of this? I guess casualties captured is something, and hero capacity is something. But otherwise, this is mostly trash, at least. Uh, it doesn't give us an immediate return on our investment of time. And time is uh, pretty valuable, you gotta admit. And Warhammer is in real life. However, time has no meaning in the warp, so you know, not not so much for the uh, not so much for the dark gods. Uh, let's see, you keep getting zombies, Red Duke. Max out your zombies before uh, going anywhere. And yeah, I'd like to get you some more Grave Guard and Black Knights and whatnot, but they're too expensive uh, for what they currently offer, especially if there are going to be no enemy armies actually here. Just do what you've been doing. Otherwise, we got upgrades to do, and I think, yeah, this will be the last turn. Ah, Castle uh, Castle Templehof. I'd love to upgrade your walls, but... Wait. I'd upgrade these. Do we upgrade the walls at Needling, or the uh, town at Needling? We can't do both, unfortunately. I guess we all have no choice. Uh, we don't really need an extra growth building here. So we could technically make an artisan or peasant blood tax. Probably worthwhile. It'll hurt our growth in adjacent provinces more, but it's still probably better than nothing. In fact, we're probably going to replace this trinal, but now that we have all three of these settlements at uh, the rank we want them at. Alrighty, Castle Templehof, you are going to get a gibbet, 
And you're obviously going to get... Oh, wait, you can build all of these now for extra cash, including getting vampires in here and the Forbidden Library to get the uh, research rate up and running. If only the cost of this wasn't just insane. We obviously don't have the money to afford any of this right now. Alrighty, well, hold off on the rest of this. I would actually like to get you a Balefire Brazier as well to start screwing around uh, with these territories. Hmm... We still definitely need to get these two buildings, but I think perhaps we get these at the in the last two slots instead. Alrighty, well with that, unfortunately, we are indeed out of time. There's still a lot of buildings to build, but we're making decent amounts of cash. Uh, Isabella completed her quest for that uh, Blood Chalice part, not the entirety of the Blood Chalice, unfortunately, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, otherwise, Vlad is heading to Lamia, and I do expect that he will attack it next uh, uh, episode. Yeah, he can't reach the Sork. Oh, man. I'm almost completely sure this guy's... Yeah, he's not at war with Lamia. He's gonna jump to the Desolation. I freaking guarantee it. If he goes to Nagashazar, he'll die. If he goes to the Desolation, it'll be much more problematic. His army is still trash, but it's good enough, most likely, to fight at the Desolation. Uh, we will, however, summon Manny up there to defend it with some Rays dead. Hopefully, it'll be enough. Without walls to rely upon, it'll obviously be problematic, especially as the armies here are pretty garbage. And while we do have a battle marker there, it's also a trash battle marker. Well, if we lose the Desolation, we lose. It'll just be one more failure uh, for Manny. And I take it these guys will... Oh, they could peace out, but the dwarves won't like that one bit. <laughs> you know what? I'll think about that. I'll definitely uh, consider the option. Ooh, and we're making even more money for Vlad. Anyway, so yeah, we'll see Lamia next time, as well as whatever the resolution of... Uh, of this orky battle is so tune in as well as the uh, continuation of building up our empire and corrupting all the surrounding territories so with that said as always i do appreciate any and all feedback with regards to the gameplay or the way i do things on this channel don't forget to leave a like and comment for a friendly neighborhood heretic all glory to the algorithm and thanks for watching